Hello and how are you? My name is Mohindo Bar and I welcome you to our 27th uh, lecture of Mastering Flutter User Interfaces. In previous lecture, we have looked at uh, so many different ways of how we can design different kinds of Flutter user interface components and also how we can uh, implement those user inter interfaces in different uh, ways to solve the day-to-day day-to-day uh, uh, -day solutions of uh, user interfaces in mobile applications. Uh, today we are going to not do the different thing but proceed with our common lectures. However, today we are going to learn how we can uh, put still what we have been learning as independent components in order to come up with uh, different designs of um, user interfaces, so, so, I mean that makes the uh, uh, mobile application dashboards. Uh, for example, today we are going to design this screen that you can use as your mobile application dashboard. After designing this screen of uh, fab icons or buttons, we'll go ahead and design also a statistical screen for a statistical application uh, that you can use as your dashboard. Let's say you have a, for a, a mobile application that you need to display uh, your data in statistical way. You can use a dashboard like this. However, the 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 the, the ideas can be unlimited. But we're going to, I'm going to show you how we can do this uh, together. This kind of dashboard, and also we'll go ahead and proceed how we can do this builds application dashboard. We'll proceed and see what can do. So maybe a flight dashboard, a flight application dashboard. We'll proceed and do also a wallet. Uh, dashboard let's say that you want to make a wallet application so you can use an application i mean a dashboard or user interface of this kind also if time allows we'll proceed and also create um this a green wallet dashboard or a dashboard which has a green background for the wallet application so as we always do we always do 40 minutes for each lecture now you can see our timer has okay let us start our timer right now uh, so we start counting our 40 minutes. So in the 40 minutes, we should have should be able to take a rest. So with that much said, let's go straight into our today's business and see how we can learn how to make uh, the, these different kinds of dashboards. So let's do this, okay? So as you can see, I've already started uh, my application, which is uh, this one, the one that we always use for practicing. I've already started it and I've run it. So today we are going to add here another section called dashboards and that's where we are going to put um, the links or the navigation that will take us to our very first dashboard that we are going to design which is the grid fab dashboard okay so let us go ahead and uh, do that so I'll close everything that I'd opened and then I'll go to our main screen layout And then in this screen, I'm going to put a section that I can call Fab what? Uh, okay, let us begin by calling dashboard. Dashboards. And then I'll go ahead I can put the relevant icon and then that will be our section for dashboard and then I'll go ahead and create a link or a navigation button that's going to be navigating us uh, to the fab I mean to the fab dashboard So we have not created this screen. Let's go ahead and create it together. So I'll just simply come here and create a separate section of a directory that I can call dashboard. Then in this section, we are going to put our first dashboard. Can call grid 
fab dashboard screen the dot I'll copy this name and then press enter then I'm going to put here a stateful widget that I'll paste the name and remove the extension of that and then I go ahead and import um uh, the package of uh, but you know you can as well go ahead and import the material UI so after doing that the next thing now we are going to add this screen into our navigation so if someone clicks here it should be taken to this screen so we'll come back to our main menu route and then put there grid dashboard and then we put that screen and then save now if you click on this you should be able to see this blank screen good just a minute Then after doing that, we're going now to start designing uh, the exact grid fab, fab grid what dashboard that we need. All right. So this is the dashboard that we need. So to save time, I'm just going to go straight it and then we start redesigning it together okay we're going to begin by putting the scaffolds So to return here a scaffold let me disable copilot and then i save okay after putting the scaffold okay the next thing you're going to put the background color to be our blue or the primary background color so you can have something like this right so the scaffold background color is going to be the primary background color i'll go ahead and import this one so you can have that sky blue <laughs> i hope that's the sky blue that we need okay as the background so after making that one uh, our main background color we're going to go ahead and put the up bar this up bar that you see there on top so that we can be able to uh, give the color to the status bar so I'll go ahead and add the app bar. so you can pause the video and see that uh, this app bar is nothing but uh, we're giving it a system overlay style that we go ahead and give it um, a brightness uh, color I mean the, 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 the status brightness icon brightness to be light and also status color to be dark blue and then you give the elevation of this up the head of this app bar to be zero so it can just change only the status uh, background color and also the elevation to be zero so if i go ahead and import this then to make sure that the icons in the status bar are white uh, then after doing that the next thing now we're going to go ahead and give our our scaffold the body so i'll just simply come here and go ahead and give the body and this body is going to be a container okay so after doing that the next thing we're going to give the background color not to be like a hundred percent white but um to be um a gray of a hundred so I'll go ahead and give this container a background color of gray of a hundred and then we'll have something uh, nice like that one then after doing that uh, the next thing we're going to do we're going to give the height of this container to be 
infinity so it can spend 100 percent of our what of uh, our space that is available or the height of the phone then after doing that now the next that we're going to do we're going to give a scroll view because someone may have a smaller phone so this might not fit there so what we're going to do to be on the base side we're going to give it a scroller view so in case someone has a smaller phone they should be able to do what to scroll so we'll go ahead and give a child to this uh, container to be a scroll a single child scroll view uh, after doing that then we're going to give the column to this one because these are going to be arranged in form in form of column so let's go ahead and give uh, this one child a child of a column now this column we're going to give it a cross cross axis alignment of start and main axis alignment of maximum then after doing that it will go ahead and uh, cover whatever is there like that then after we are going to go ahead and give the children here okay so the children this column the first thing is going to be stuck so we are putting stuck because this one wants this one to be a little bit in front of what you have here so let's go ahead and put uh, the stack as the first child of this column okay so we give it stack all right so after we are going to give now uh this top icon that you're seeing here i mean this top blue color that you're seeing here we are going to give it uh, the background i mean we're going to give it a container so the child of this one is going to be a container of this stack all right so after putting the container this container we're going to give it the width of infinity so it can spend the 100 percent of the available width and also the background color of primary so it can make sure it is what it is blue so after doing that it has spent 100 percent of the available height so i'm going to limit its height okay so to limit its height you're going to give it a height of a hand of 140 so it can be uh, that size or that color there so after giving the height of 140 the next thing we're going to do we're going to give that image that you're seeing there the image of um, a world map okay this image it is already in the in the what in the it's going it, this image is already in the what in the assets that i shared with you with the project okay so let's go ahead and give that image as the main child of this what of this container and then give it a fit of um, cover so in his save we're going to have that kind of uh, uh, map color that you can see in the background okay so after putting that image as the main child here now the next thing that we're going to do we're going to uh we're going to go ahead and uh, put now this row this row that you're seeing here that is here i mean this row of the name that you're seeing here okay so it's going to be since it is it since it is uh, a stack so it means that it, this one is going to be in kind of background and the next thing that we're going to put to it in this stack it's going to be on top of it so it means that if we put a row that row is going to be on top of what on top of what of this image that we have just designed here so let's go ahead and do that so we're going to put uh, a row all right and then this row we're going to give it a um, cross alignment of uh, center and then we are going to give it uh, children and then the children of this row the first one is going to be a container or sized box of of 15 so we can have this space here that you're seeing here let's go ahead and give it Okay. and then after putting 15 the next thing we're going to put now a column you see this name it is having something on top of it and then below it so it is a, it is a what it is a column so let's go ahead and put a column to this container i mean next to the container and then we make uh, this column to have uh, cross access alignment of start so the content should be start and then we're going to give it children okay so the first child is going to be now uh the height of 10 so we can have a space here on top here 
so I can put here the height of 10 and then after we're going to have now this name okay hi Mila Wilson I can put there my name uh, so I'll go ahead and put the name and give it that style that you can see there. okay so so I'll go ahead and have that one like that so after doing that so we have that color and that styling of that text there the next thing we're going to put now the height of five and then after putting the height of five and the next thing we are going to put now the text okay so maybe the name of our application so you will come the user like that so this is a column and remember it is inside the what inside the row okay inside the row so after doing that you're going to put now the spacer so the space is going to push whatever we're going to put next to this column so it can be able to have something at at the further last so put a spacer and then after that spacer we go ahead and put now this button that is going to show a menu this one here where you can put a menu all right so i'll come and just copy the button you can pause the video and then you'll be able to see how i design this button it's just something simple that has that icon which has the color and then on press listener okay so if i save i'll be able to achieve uh, that beautiful user interface okay now the next thing that we're going to do now we're going to put uh, now this search bar or this search icon okay so this one is going to be next to our stack okay it's going to be next to our stack so it's going to be in the main column so it can be in, on top of the stack so let's go ahead and do that so we can collapse this stack okay so why did you do it stack because we wanted to have that kind of image design in background so let me collapse the stack now and go ahead and design now this watch this search bar or this search icon all right so to do that i will go next to stack here and put a column okay now after that column i'm going to give it a, a padding of 10 on horizontal okay then after that padding i'm going to go ahead and give a transformation of matrix matrix 4 and then translation values of 0, 0.0 and then minus 3.2 so this translation it will help us to push to make the the, the what uh, our the con this container that we're doing here to go on top or even to go in bottom something like that okay so if this container is going to go on top uh, or it's going to go by, uh, on top of whatever is behind it okay and then after in this container we're going to give um, now the column okay so go ahead and say child going to be the column and then after doing that we're going to give children a card so we're going to put there our first card this is the card that i'm talking about Okay. Then this card can have this shape. All right. Then after we are going to give now our card the background color of white and also elevation of two, and then uh, the parameter of clip behavior of that. So I can pause the video and look at that. So right now we are designing this card that you're seeing on top. Then after, we're going to give this card a child that's going to have that's going to have a container, okay? And this container is going to have the height of of sixty, and then the alignment of justification center left, and then also the padding of symmetric horizontal five, okay? So that is uh, what our container so by being like this since our container i mean this since our column is going 
backwards by 10 we'll be able to achieve something like this one which is uh, so beautiful all right so after we are going to go ahead and give the row because this is nothing but a what but a row so i'm going to go ahead and give a row as a child of this container okay and then after in this row i mean so let's go ahead and give it a row and then after the, after creating the row so the first cell of this row is going to be this search icon or this search button this one here okay so this is the button here icon button and we make it the first child of this row so go, go ahead give children so the first child is the what is the icon button there the one that you see there on top okay then after doing that so you have that one there so the next thing we're going to put now the what the expanded so it can spend the maximum available space and then you put the text field okay so you can look at this so you can pause the video and see this okay self-explanatory so we give expanded as next child and then text field and then give it a, a keyboard control as text type of text and then decoration decoration input it collapse and then you put uh, find a product or you can say maybe search something like that and then we'll have uh, find a product icon there so this decoration does not have a bottom and navigate i mean bottom what bottom underline okay so after doing that the next thing now we're going to put at the further end this uh, icon for the menu so come here and put that one there so then after doing that we'll have a beautiful uh, uh, user interface that looks like that okay so it is uh, nice all right so after doing that uh, i hope you can uh, pause the video and uh, also do the same thing exactly okay now let's go ahead and uh, now put this content that you're seeing here in bottom so we're going to also collapse this card i mean this container that is next to the stack this one here so it's the one that was working in the logic of what of this search all right so aha uh -huh, then next to that container we're going now to go ahead I mean sorry next to the card sorry not the whole container i put the card next to the card because this column is where i'm going to put the content so next that card we go ahead and now put the what and put the another card so this card is this one that has these uh fabu icons offer buttons this one here so let's go ahead and put another card here next to this card you put another card and it's going to have a child and uh can pass these parameters of the card that you want that you always pass so our things should look the same okay share the background color to be white okay remember this is kind of gray in background so this will make it white and then the clear behavior to that one then the child that you're going to put in this card is going to be a container okay and then when you save to be like that it's going to be a container that's going to be alignment of uh, of content to be center left and then after we give it uh, that padding okay so i can pause the video and see this padding that i'm giving this container so let's go ahead and give that one then after doing that the next thing we're going to give uh, we're going to do what to create now the the child okay so the child is going to be a column so go ahead and put here child that is going to be a column that is going to have um, children of content that are going to be in rows, 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 rows like this. Okay, so let's go ahead and put uh, the, the children of this column. So the first child is going to be a what? A row. Okay, so after doing that, uh, now the first child to this row is going to be a floating uh, what? Action button. Okay. So I can come here and give this column, I mean this, this, this row children. So the first child is going to be a floating what? Action button. All right. So now uh, we put the unpressed. Uh, okay. We, we go ahead and give it a tag and give it elevation and give it also the, the minimum, the two, whether it should be minimum to be true and then give it the background color of uh, of light green this one here 
and then pass 40 and also go ahead and give it a contain i mean an icon of a person and the icon is white since the background color is green and then we give it on press method which is an empty function like this one so if we do this and then we pass it here then we'll be able to achieve our first button like that one there okay so we're going to do the same almost the same for the remaining buttons that are going to be in this what in this particular column so um we go ahead and give it a size height of five so next to this button go ahead and remember it is in a column um <laughs> Um, mm, 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 mm. Wait, let's skip something. This one's going to be in a column since so it's going to have a subtitle. So, uh, sorry, I come here and then press Alt and Enter and then say column so it can be sounded with a column because it's going to have a, a, a description. Then I give it a container of height 5 and then after doing that, I go ahead and give uh, uh, the text to that. And then I format it in this way that you're seeing here. Okay. Hope you can see that. So after doing that, if I save, I'll have that kind of um, uh, text and uh, an icon and a button on top of it. So this is what we have here, right? So it is having a row. And the first child of that row is nothing but a column that is having on top as a fab with those parameters. And next to it, it's having a height of 5. And then also the text that you're seeing the word friends there so all right so after doing that now the next thing i'm going to put another column that's going to have the groups okay so if i explain this it is just a, a column that has a first child as a what as um action fab and then it has a height of five and then it has the text of what of groups like this so i'll just simply copy this and then can't paste it i hope you can uh, be able to see it. so i'll come to this row so next to the row i give uh, that second column this one here okay that i have groups okay so uh, so this row it must have so you see they are they are being attached to each other so this row it must have uh, a parameter of what of max of main axis alignment and then you give it a space around so it can they can be spaced uh, equally with a space around them so we'll have something like this so that is beautiful uh -huh. so i can go ahead and give the remaining things so let me collapse this one and i finish friends i go ahead and put also um the nearby okay so i put the icon of gps and then the text of nearby so let me go ahead and do that so i'll come here and collapse this column i've collapsed both of them this one and this one and then i go ahead and put nearby so nearby it is just exactly the same you can even design a simple widget and then keep on calling it and repeating yourself and then we'll have this nearby so i can pause the video and understand how i've done this nearby okay I will collapse that nearby then after nearby i'm going to put um the moment okay the moment icon number the moment okay so i'll collapse this and then come and put there like this and then we'll have the moment all right so that is uh beautiful so that is our first row so since these rows are in a column remember this is a row so i can come to where this row begins and collapse the whole row okay and collapse the whole row so once i collapse this whole row uh it means that uh, i can even duplicate it and become next to it so what i'm going to do i'm going to be put just a sized height of 15 so it can be spaced so i come here and put size the height of 15 and then i can have a space between those and then i'm going to copy this row so this row which is having album likes articles and reviews so you can pause the video and design this one on your own okay album likes reviews so me i'm just going to pause the whole row copy the whole row and paste it there since i've already taught you or demonstrated to you 
how you can do the first one okay so i go ahead and put it there and then we'll have something beautiful like this one then i go ahead again separate it with 15 height okay container 15 height and then i go ahead and put our third row this one here so you can also go ahead and design it pause the video and design this third row which is having the spots payment and favorite draft favorites and draft so that you can pause the video and go ahead and do what and do that so press ctrl and alt and l to auto arrange your code ctrl alt and l to auto arrange your what your code all right so after doing that then it means that you'll have designed a beautiful user interface like this one so the next thing that we're going to do we're going to now we're going to go ahead and put this uh, balance icon i mean this balance user interface that has even the number of points so let me go ahead and copy that uh, contain of five so i'll come next to the card this is the first card so i'll come next to that card and then i give it what a height of five so it can be spaced then after that i'm going to put another card that's going to have this balance and then also the points so let's go ahead and do that so it's going to be next to the card that has been had that has this content it's going to be a what it's going to be our card that is going to have uh these parameters you can pause the video and look at them these ones all right and then after we are going to put now the child of this card okay that's going to have a height of uh, 60 okay so you can have that beautiful card there so after putting that container and the height and the rest so the next thing that we're going to put we're going to put now this row that is going to have this balance and the points so let's go ahead and do that so the child or the main child in this card is going to have it's going to be a row it's going to have children okay and then after uh in this container i mean this these children the first child is going to be this balance and this money so since it's one item on top of the other it's going to be a what a column so the first child to this row is going to be a what a column a column which will give this parameter of main alignment to to center and then cross axis alignment to start right and then after doing that you're going to give it uh, children okay so the first child is going to be the text i mean the text and then the second child is going to be now the what the amount so we're going to give it children of this column so the first child is what is a balance which is having uh this color and that alignment you can pause the video and look at that simple user interface so we're going to have that balance word then after we go ahead and give it uh what uh this text that is in green color which is the money itself so next to it to give it um, text in green color with the money itself then uh, uh we'll have something beautiful like this okay yep so that's beautiful now after doing that the next thing now we're going to put a spacer between that column and uh container that is going to have these points so we'll come and collapse this column in this row and then put a spacer and then after that spacer we're going to put the what um the container that is going to have these points so go ahead and put uh, a container uh, that is going to have the padding of that kind okay then it's going to have a, a decoration so it's going to be having a decoration which is going to be box decoration and then the color of orange as, as the color of the container and then the border radius of border circuit border radius circuit dot circular and then we give it 15 so it can be that kind of rounded so you go ahead and create that decoration around that container so when i save i'll have something beautiful like this then after we're going to give it uh, the child as the text of 
of 140 i mean 415 um what um points and the color of that text should be white so by doing like this we're going to have something beautiful like this one okay so go ahead and design this as how i've designed it so and that's it so we'll have created a beautiful user interface or a beautiful dashboard for a mobile application so you can be creative and add on this what i've designed so you can put your maybe the menu for logging in and logging out uh you can go ahead and change this one to whatever things that are going to leave link in your different uh modules to different modules of your application so please uh don't just watch the video but watch as you do what watch as you practice and then you'll be able to achieve such a what such kind of uh, uh user interface okay so from there you can get now experience of how you can do multiple things and another beauty is if you see how we have been organizing our code or our components what does it mean if i need to make a next application i don't need again to do everything from scratch when i want this dashboard i'll just come and copy this one and modify it when i want a list i just come and copy a list here and modify it so with these components it's not that you're going to do them and leave them here you can do them you can reuse them in the next of your what in the next of your project and then you just keep on improving them and that will save a lot of your time to do these uh, kind of professional user interfaces that is beautiful user interface for what for mobile application dashboard so how much time you remaining with the remaining four minutes five minutes <laughs> Uh, can we do something in these five minutes? Um, I don't know. Let me see the next thing that we're going to do. So we're going to do uh, the statistical user interface, this one. I want to do two, so you can also give you a challenge and do the others. So I'm going to do this one, and then maybe for you, you'll do this one of flight. I don't know. Yeah, this one of flight is just like the one that you've just done, only that... Um, this one has this kind of card so i don't know which one you propose i should do and then for you take the other one as a as a challenge i think i'm going to do uh, i'm going to do uh let me do this uh green one okay this green one is a little bit complex let, let me do this one so if i do this one it means that you can also challenge yourself and do this one of a wallet okay i'm going to do this one of wallet and then for you you'll challenge yourself and then do this one of a green it is almost like that one of a wallet and also you do this one oh sorry you do this one of flight so this one of flight is just like the one you have just done right now so you give yourself a challenge and design this one okay this is just like the one that you have just done but uh, for it is just this serving these user interfaces so you can challenge yourself and do this one so let's have a short break of five minutes then after five minutes we come back and we design uh this wallet what this wallet user interface so right now it is uh 10 past uh, what 10 past um, past 10 let's have a, a, a break of uh, five minutes then we resume at 15 past 10 uh, and then we do this other uh user interface so let's have a short break we can go for a short break and then we come back after five minutes and then we resume with the